In today's quick video, we're gonna talk about spell checking in Xcode 11. Here I am in a file in a previous project, and what's new in Xcode 11 is now you can check your spelling while typing. So if you have this turned on, and you do that by edit, format, spelling and grammar, check spelling while typing, now as you type, you'll get a spell check. Um, and this happens in string literals, your comments, function names. So let's start testing this out here, right? Like here's the, here's the title of our view controller called favorites. Well, what if we, uh, you know, accidentally put in, you know, two, three R's in a little pirate uh, type screen. Well, now that we type that, we get this little line underneath the typical spelling error line that you're probably used to in other uh, programs. And now as you're typing that, you're going to see the error. So like, oh, I messed that up. Cool. Let me, let me fix that here. Um, but it also works in uh, function names, right? So if I'm typing, let's type this get favorites again here say get favor, oh, I just, it's, I just messed it up. So as I'm typing, you see here, we get the uh, line underneath and it's aware enough to know about camel casing, right? They know this is the second word, right? It recognizes get and it only underlines this second word, which is some abomination of favorites that I put. So cool, now I can go back and fix this, get favorites. Cool, done and done. And again, same thing here, like for example, here's an alert, right? You don't want spelling mistakes in your alert. And as you know, when you're typing out strings in Xcode, you don't get any spell check. So especially if you're typing out like a long label, um, you know, something went, whatever, went wrong. As I'm typing, uh, it'll pop up here in a second. There it goes. Sometimes it's not instant sometimes, but uh, you know, as you're typing, cool, gave me that red line. Oh man, obviously I misspelled that. Uh, so again, string literals in your code, your function names, uh, and then also in your comments. So if I did this function gets favor, uh, you know, see, as I'm typing my comment, I'm getting the spelling, right? So you can go back and say gets favorites. So again, it's a good way to check the spelling in your comments, uh, which would, you know, could be your documentation as well. Uh, also your string literals, if you're writing out a long label or an alert message. And then also, like I said, your, your function signatures. So turning this on, let me, I, I'm gonna add some spelling mistakes in here uh, as well. Favorites, cool. Uh, what you can do also is a command shift semicolon or just command shift colon. You're gonna get this spelling and grammar tool here. Now this works whether you have uh, check spelling while typing on or not. So this will work either way. And you can hit find next. Okay, there's my first misspelling. Uh, it will give you suggestions. Uh, this was so poorly misspelled that it gave me no uh, suggestions. But let me go down here and actually type in my function here for get favorites. Let's get rid of this. Uh, let me just, just barely misspell it. Favorites, right? There's just two, two Vs in there. So now if I do command shift semicolon or just command shift colon, hit find next. There we go. I got to my double V favorites that I just typed and it suggests favorites. So double click on that fixes it stuff. So that was the quick brief video on spell checking in Xcode 11. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like my teaching style, check out the website on the screen. I started creating my own courses and we'll see you in the next video.